And welcome to You Have Real Estate with me, attorney Justin Clark. Whether you're a first time home buyer, seasoned investor, even looking to sell your home, this next 30 minutes is designed just for you. Think of it like getting multiple open houses, all from your living room with my attorney advice throughout the show. Any questions whatsoever, I have people standing by to answer them right now. The phone number on the screen, 407 205 0400. Great show planned for you on this beautiful Saturday afternoon. Thank you for joining me. But first, the opening statement. The opening statement is brought to you by my good buddy, Stephen Bader with IQ Power Solar. As you know, I went solar last year. The summer months are ahead. I was paying $500 during the summer two years ago. Last year, $50 a month for my electricity bill. Also, for you business owners, you probably haven't filed taxes yet. If you go solar, you will save up to $10,000, sometimes even more, on your tax return. I was gonna have to write a check to the IRS last year for $10,000, but because I went solar, I wrote a check for 0.0. .0. Stephen Bader, tell me how we did it. From an individual or family perspective, and I've never told you this, I believe that the pandemic is essentially over. People are dying for workers right now. Look at the advertisements on TV and radio. People are saying, we need workers. They're not even advertising their sub sandwiches. They're advertising that they need employees to work. I have some friends who are right now sitting at home thinking, I like this unemployment. I especially like this unemployment kicker. Let me give you a little warning right now. When the unemployment kicker goes away, I think people are gonna be out there looking for work and it's gonna be too late. You need to go find a job now even though you're still getting the extra money on the unemployment, because if you wait too long, you won't be able to find a job and you don't have the extra unemployment. So take my advice and look, I know that maybe you got laid off from your job that you loved and you're afraid to take the job at Home Depot. Now is not the time to be super choosy as to what you do. You need to keep your brain flowing. You need to avoid that depression where you just wanna dump a bottle of vodka on your head because you've been sitting at home. I think now is the time. People are hiring. Go get a job. But as you get back into the workforce and you start having income again, you're going to be faced with a really weird decision. You're going to be faced with a decision that no one would have thought we would have to make. And that is, this is the hottest real estate market in the history of Florida real estate. I said it right here. This is the hottest market we've ever seen in the history of Florida real estate. And what happens in your future really depends on what you decide today a rapid pace we're seeing things happen in the real estate market right now. It, it, it can disorient even the most savvy investor as to what's going on. So as you get back to normal life, you're going to have to make a decision. The interest rates are so low. Prices way, way, way up. What do you do? Do you buy a place now? Do you sell your place now? These are very difficult decisions and they're difficult decisions that we're going to answer today. And we're going to do so by asking real questions. Before we do that, let's check in with Dallas Lehman because interest rates, if you know, have been, they've been going up and down. Dallas, please tell me what's going on right now. Three, Every Saturday here on You Have Real Estate, we ask real questions to the trend-setting people in Central Florida's real estate community. Today on the program, happy to welcome back to the show from New Smyrna Beach, my good friends, Brianca Carlo and Brittany Gherkin. How are you, ladies? Great. Good to see you. You so do you believe what I said in the opening that this could be the hottest real estate market in the history of this state? Absolutely. Yes, I we do. do. <laughs> and you know, we talk more here about not necessarily the coastal real estate. You guys focus on New Smyrna Beach a lot. I can tell you here, here in Orlando and the outlying areas, it's impossible almost to get your offer accepted. You put a house on the market, you're getting people make offers the same day. What is going on at the beach? It's pretty much the same. Really? Um, anything we put on the market goes either the same day, next, with multiple offers over asking. Yeah, it's extremely competitive right now. now how does this work for a buyer who's actually wanting to buy a home and, and they're going around, they're seeing a thousand different houses. I mean, how, how does that work for a buyer right now? How do you get your offer accepted? It's really hard for buyers. Um, they're, they're running into just not getting their offers accepted if it's not full price or over asking, or if they haven't quite been pre-qualified yet. All of these things have to just fall into place and it's perfectly been, or they just yeah. are out. <laughs> so what is the seller looking for? I mean, so back in the day, you'd be like, well, it's FHA or it's cash or Fannie, Freddie. What is this seller looking for right now to, to distinguish one offer from the next? 
there's a lot of cash buyers right now, honestly. Yeah. So probably the highest price in the easiest terms. You know, quick close, cash. You know, and nothing, nothing. We've had a lot of escalation uh, clauses as well. So if somebody else brings an offer that's higher, that that buyer agrees to go a thousand over whatever someone else is bringing, no matter what the price and. Another term we never used on the show until like two or three weeks ago, escalation clause. Yeah. What do you mean by that exactly? So basically, if you're competing with um, multiple offers, um, uh, one offer you can put that whatever another offer brings in, and if their purchase price is higher, that this buyer will go over that price by X amount, like $1,000 or $2,000. And we it's do? been working. Yeah. What are we doing now, though? And we were talking about with the show, Brittany, about someone who... Uh, makes an offer on a house. They're getting a mortgage, uh, but appraisers can't necessarily keep up with how quickly this market is rising. And so you're getting a mortgage, you offer 350. The appraisal comes back at 330. What are we doing in that scenario now? A lot of times, unfortunately for the buyers, the sellers don't have to budge. They know that someone else will come along and either offer Cash. full price and mm. not worry about the appraisal, meet the difference, because even if it's a loan, they can meet the difference, and they are. They're meeting the difference yeah. between the two. So basically you're telling me buyers are stroking checks. Mm -hmm. is, is what's yeah. I mean, <laughs> and why would you, if you're a seller right now, why would you roll over? Generally speaking, in the past, when, when you're a seller, someone makes an offer, they're getting financing, and the offer's 300, the appraisal comes back at 280, the seller's like, okay, 280 it is. Maybe split the difference. Now sellers like, uh, screw you. you. Better bring some yeah. money. You write a check, yeah. or I'm putting it back on the market. I'll get Take a new offer it. in one day, and, th and that that's truly what's happening out there right now. Here's the big question. I mean, I, I think to me it's the elephant in the room. I, I own a house, and I see this market's out of control. I'm like, well, what a great time to sell. But then I have to live somewhere. How, how do you? How, <laughs> right. What do you do as a homeowner when you want to take That's, advantage of how heated the market is, but you have to live somewhere? What would you do? What do you advise hard. your clients? I mean, it's a seller's market. Obviously, I would definitely sell right now. Maybe go stay with a friend. You never know what's going to happen <laughs> in a couple yeah. months. It's but a double-edged sword. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm dying to see what's going on in New Smyrna Beach. I know you have a couple listings that we wanted to show off here. And Derek, let's get right to it here. Show me 708 and 706 Ocean Avenue. Two addresses. What's up with this? Yeah, so okay. um, it's basically a compound. It's oh. one large home, okay. uh, five bedroom, four bathroom, and two half baths in the large home. And then right next door, you have a separate guest house. Uh, so, Mother-in-law. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm having visions. Yeah, Dallas exactly. knows what I'm talking about, too. <laughs> Which is a 2-1, and they both share the large pool. Um, it's asking 1.649. How many square feet is this place? Uh, the large home is a little over 5,000 square feet, and wow. the smaller in law suite is um, just over 1,000. That's absolutely gorgeous. Dallas was telling us just a moment ago that he did something at like 1.75% recently. So 1.6% is a big number sticker shock for people. But if you start mm -hmm. to do the math, even if you get a 2% interest rate, your payment is, I don't know, maybe five grand, but you could maybe rent that other space. Yeah, absolutely. And that's the beauty of having the two separate addresses for it. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. What do you think you could rent that other space for? Any idea? Oh my gosh, the rental market in New Smyrna is unbelievable right now. I mean, even if you were to sell just mm -hmm. that small home, I mean, you'd probably get 550 for it, a two what? one. Yeah. Oh, my, my head's spinning. I, know. I, don't, I don't know what to <laughs> do right It's only a block now. from the beach, and you're yeah. super close to Flagler Avenue, which is extremely desirable. So mm -hmm. and someone, for perfect. That. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, someone spent some money on that place, too. That's a beautiful, oh, yeah. it's gorgeous. <laughs> beautiful home. I mean, 1.6 actually seems at 5,000 square feet beachside New Smyrna Beach to be a pretty decent deal in this market to me. They just lowered the price uh, yesterday. So. And, and how are you seeing... Because even even when we've had hot real estate markets in the past, we might it's hot in the 300 range, 400 range. Now I'm seeing it hot, even in these higher numbers that used to take a long time. What are you seeing over in New Smyrna at the, the higher digits? Well, that's because that's the lowest you can get on the beach side now. You know, you you have to pay at least 400 yeah. and up to live on the beach side, even in a little bungalow. Right. What, what about, you know, a lot of people want a two bedroom, two bath, second home beach house. What is the starting entry point on that right now? How much? Probably around 400. Really? Mm -hmm. Depending what it's like inside, but, um, and depending on the area, you know, North Beach, like this next listing we're gonna show is a lot more desirable than heading south towards Bethune Beach, it gets more pricey, but um, Central Beach is So, yeah, so great. what is the more, uh, what, what, what is the part of the beach over there people want to live on? What's more desirable? Is it the south part or the north part? 
It depends. It's, it really depends. It really depends, depends, how old depends you are. on what you're looking for. You know, North Beach is a little bit more on the quiet side. You mm. get Central Beach where you're it, pretty much a walking distance from anything. Flagler Avenue, all the restaurants, mm-hmm. all the shops. Mm-hmm. A lot of people from out of town really like that. They like the nightlife. What's that restaurant way down south that everyone talks about? JB's. JB's. So is that a desirable area down there or is it less expensive because well, it's quiet? It's not necessarily less expensive, but it's just a buyer preference. It's the mm-hmm. no-drive beach. There's way less to do down there. I mean, it's uh, You're a little the bit sounds removed. weird, yeah. but it's like a six-minute drive to a gas station or Publix when... Central Beach, you're a mile away from everything. Are there less sharks in any part of the beach? Are they everywhere? <laughs> no, they're no. everywhere. Because <laughs> right. I'd pay a premium if there were less sharks or jellyfish, but no. they're everywhere, well, Unfortunately, huh? they're everywhere. If you would like to see this property, or you're looking for a place over in New Smyrna Beach, what a beautiful part of the world. I'll connect you with Brianca and Brittany right now. 407-205-0400. Property number two, North Peninsula Avenue. Where is this? This one's in North Beach. It's very close to like the inlet, you know, um, up north there. There's it's quiet there. It's beautiful. There's a dog beach. There's plenty of beach access. Um, it's a super cute beach bungalow. It's a three two, just about two thousand square feet, and it's listed at five forty nine. Which uh, it's hard to find a single family home at anywhere near that right now. Five forty nine, yeah. right? What right. kind of square feet am I looking at here? Right around two thousand. Okay, mm-hmm. so not you know, not a bad deal over there. So. Any idea how far from the beach I am in this place? Just a short walk. Just a walk. Yeah, you're not you're not far from the beach at all. Beautiful. It's hardly place. a block. Is that right? Four zero seven two zero five zero four zero zero. Predictions for the rest of the year, real estate wise, over on the beach. Well, our hope is that it stays this way. <laughs> we stay super busy, but really, there's no telling. We've I know I we've never seen anything like this, so it's hard to really predict what's going to happen next. Brianka, predictions, up or down? I agree. Everything that Brittany said uh, is pretty spot on. So let me give you a, a hypothetical here. So mm-hmm. Pen- North Peninsula Avenue, five fifty now. Let's say, uh, let's say we sell it for five fifty tomorrow. What would that place have cost me exactly one year? prior. What, what did this place cost me a year ago? They actually bought it about two and a half years ago for three ninety. All right. So, I mean, I'm seeing things up 10% over the last like, few months. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. It is steady. How does it work? <laughs> I know you work with a lot of buyers as well. How does it work? Because, I mean, you know, we like these people, they're our clients and everything, but literally you're having to show way more houses now than you ever have in the past because they're making offers, they're not getting accepted. How much more time would you say now you're spending with buyers? A lot more. <laughs> it's significant. I mean, I've showed, they, I have a couple that I've showed upwards of 25 houses to. And um, thankfully, we found the right one and they, and they <laughs> love it. But, you know, it's just one of those things. We've, we put in several offers as we went and it just didn't work out. Are we at a point now where we have an understanding that at some point they have to buy the drinks too, even though you're, <laughs> right. they're your client? Yes. I mean, there's got to be an under- mutual agreement or something, right? They, they Most of the buyers now identify the work and that you're putting in and what you're having to do and the hoops you're having to jump through. So. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Brittany Gurkin, great to see you as always. You. One Thank of you are going to stick around for the real estate roundtable i don't yes, know we'll figure yes. it out brianca carlo as always great to see Thank you, you please give them a call anything on the beach it doesn't have to be new smart anywhere over on the volusia county beach side 407-205-0400 all right we know the real estate market is hot residential wise but what's going on commercially maybe you're a business owner you're thinking about buying a space or selling your space is the market as hot when we look at commercial real estate. We will answer that question after this quick break. You have real estate. We'll continue.
Welcome back to the show. We know it's the hottest, according to me anyway, the hottest residential real estate market we have seen in our lifetimes. I say ever, honestly. I've never seen a real estate market like this. That's residential though. What is going on in the commercial world? Is now a good time to invest in a business, invest in uh, commercial real estate? Who better to ask than returning guest Saxon Evans. Hey Saxon, how are you buddy? It's good to be here. And for the first time, Guillermo de Nichols. How, how's it going buddy? Nice to meet you. Going fantastic, thanks what, for having me. You heard what I talked about earlier with this residential thing, and you gotta trust me on it, but you guys are commercial agents. Commercial agents that really specializes in commercial. You don't really get your hands dirty in this residential stuff. What's going on on the commercial side? A lot. Yeah. We're getting just a ton of capital coming in from the Northeast, Chicago, New York, right. California. They're running away from state the, tax, a state tax and mm. just laws that are pushing them out of their states. And they come here, they have a lot of cash, and they'd rather spend it on commercial property than pay taxes in those states. So even the commercial market's pretty hot right now. I've never seen anything like it. Really? Yeah, and it's all, it's cash buyers. That's the craziest <sighs> part. You also have to consider that you have capital gains probably going mm -hmm. up to 39% next year. Oh. A lot of people want to cash out now. A lot of buyers have capital they want to deploy. So right. Central Florida has just got really hot, and we really love the market right now. We're trying to ride the wave. and do the best for our clients. Mm -hmm. Asking for a friend, what about a 3,800 square foot uh, freestanding commercial building with three different suites that are all rented out? How, how does that look? You know I mean? It really depends. We oh. teach our guys to I was either. hoping you say, put it up for a million. Okay, yeah, no. my, look, I'm gonna be honest with you. Kind of depends it's on my place. I mean, if you're trying to do it, yeah, it's either land value, yeah. or building value, or income. And so right now, you could probably get away with per foot building value because the rents probably aren't high enough to yeah. justify the prices. I don't know why you're talking trash about Eustis, buddy. What do you say? What do you say? Hey, Eustis is okay. It's in Florida. <laughs> Florida. <laughs> Florida. 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 some properties over there. Uh, Anything south of the, the border here, we're good. I love Eustis. Anyway, you brought some awesome properties here, and I'm deathly afraid that we're going to run out of time. So I want to hit them now, okay? Uh, let, let's start here, Derek, with uh, Andover, right? Is this Andover? Tell me yeah, about this is, property. That is correct. We are selling 172 units and 30,000 square foot of retail. Saks and I are working on that property together. We currently have it in the contract, and... It's actually been quite interesting so far. It was it was amazing. We had over 300 different qualified principal buyers what? to contact on this, and we went under contract in three weeks. My and goodness. so there's just no supply for this kind of property in the market. Mm -hmm. Very very few people want to sell their apartments. It's something secure. A lot of people moving to Florida. They all want to see the value add. Yeah. And we had several offers, and a ton. we got on the contract quite fast. Pretty pretty close to list, and that one was listed at twenty million two hundred fifty thousand. And I imagine that the rental market, even though the the selling market residential is, is so good, the rental market is still very high as well. So I imagine the numbers that you put on the sheet here look pretty nice. It's it's incredible how much they're getting in rent. For yeah. That is a Class C property. And right. Nothing you'd brag about, but the income <clears throat> speaks for itself. Awesome. All right, the big tree. This is South Daytona, I believe. Yes, sir. Tell me about this. So that's about seventy-six thousand square feet of shopping center. You've got your Dollar General, a big gym, which we thought was going to be a problem mm -hmm. with COVID. They're paying the rent, and so this is uh, over an eight and a half percent return, which is pretty high in this mm -hmm. market. And that one's six million seven hundred fifty thousand. Who who comes in and, and has these millions of dollars? Are these big institutional investors? Are these kind of regular people with a, you know sure. got a little old, have some money to, to throw around? Who are these people? Once you get over about three million, you start getting larger groups. The groups looking at this are mostly syndication companies outside the United States. So we have people coming in from New York and Chicago, but we also have a bunch of people coming in from Israel and Europe trying to place money because they're afraid their government's going to inflate their currency faster than we will. I know what syndication companies mean. My producer Phil behind me kind of gave. Sure. me something in the earphone he doesn't know sure. and i would tell him but why don't you tell him sure it's just a, a company that goes and specializes in gathering money from a lot of different people and then focusing it in you know one property Excellent. different countries as yeah. well yeah. oh gotcha if you have questions by the way anything about commercial real estate these guys will show you properties if you want to start investing in commercial real estate i can't think of two better guys to call i'll hook you up right now 407-205 uh, keep running through them. John Young Parkway. I think that's pretty close to here. That's what is really this? close. That's, is that right? that's right down the street, actually. Yeah. We're at, you know, on John yeah. Young. So that one's sitting at $3,950,000. It's a nightclub and an event center. Ten has been in there six years. That one actually went under contract yesterday. Is that right? Close to list. So. And right. so who, who buys this? Is this, this? is this an investor or is this someone who wants to own a nightclub? So this is a foreign group out okay. of Asia that came in. They showed us proof of funds of a very yeah. large amount of money. It was all cash and no questions asked. So. Really? Mm -hmm. And then they would ju they're just happy to have a renter there. They don't necessarily yeah. care if it's a nightclub or whatever. They don't care. It's hard to get the nightclub zoning, mm -hmm. so they know they could get another tenant in there. But it. that tenant's doing great, so we'll keep her. 
I think next is uh, an auto dealership, or is that right? Auto dealership? That is correct. Right. This is a nice property in Okoye. It's sitting right between 4 to 950. You've got 60,000 cars that they go in there. And the value of this property is having Mannheim Auction, which is the largest auction in the U.S., is right behind this mm. property, 250 acres of parking. So this property is sitting there. It's an auto dealership, and we've had several national tenants bidding for the property. <clears throat> got on the contract actually two months ago, and it seems it's going to go through. So... Quite exciting. How's Auto doing right now? And I could probably ask the sales team here at the station. They probably know better than even us. But what's what's going on Auto right now? It's incredible. They They're doing well. They can't, they they can't, can't make enough cars. building or enough cars. Yeah, used the, cars. the used cars market has just gone through the roof. The yeah. price are going up, but people are still buying them because if you want to buy a car, it's going to be hmm. used. Let me go back to my opening statement here. Let me show about this. From an individual perspective, the pandemic is over. Isn't that what I started with? Yeah. I mean, that's yes. what I'm hearing here. It is in, I mean, it is in Florida. Financially, yeah. what in the world is going on here? This is awesome, isn't it? It's good for us. If you're looking at a lot of the other states in the country, they're leaving those places because yeah. it's so strict. They're I'm coming here. Florida so. and Texas are getting thousands of people yeah. a day. Yep. I mean, last month, I think we got... I think it was 5,000 a week moving right. to Florida. Yeah. And finally... An auto repair shop. So you buy the car, it breaks down. We've all been there. Uh, you can go get it fixed here. Tell me about this place. Yeah, this is an interesting property. You haven't brought it to market yet, but it's, it's going to have the business included as well. It's in Golden Road Road, a, a road with quite traffic in the middle of central Florida. you got eight auto bays, and it's actually a good business. Auto yeah. Reaper, even in the pandemic, has performed good. Really? All these people that drive cars, they need a place where they can repair their shop. So it's actually performed good, and the owner is quite excited to get out of the capital gains mm -hmm. before they get right raised. I got it. a political year. move. I, mm -hmm. I totally understand. Let me ask you one more question here about restaurants, because when the pandemic first hit, we were very nervous all the restaurants would, would go away. Sure. I'm seeing restaurants packed okay. everywhere. I know I haven't been out of Florida really recently, but they're packed. They're mm -hmm. like desperate for staff. What are you seeing uh, real estate wise with when it comes to restaurants? Uh, actually, we just finished one on Simmer and the old Garibaldi's. We put another Garibaldi's in there. Really? And so they're finishing up their build out and they're they're ready to go. I mean, is that right? Yeah, they're excited for it. So people are they need to be outside. They yeah. want to go places. And I, we have the same problem with staffing. We cannot find people that want to work. People want to be an employee because they're yeah. sitting. Mm -hmm. I wasn't trying to make a political speech earlier in the show. I wasn't. It's just I mean it because at some point this unemployment kicker is going to go away and everyone's going to have to go back to work and you're going to be left holding the bag. I'd get in there right now, make a name for yourself, and then when unemployment goes away, you, you're already uh, someone that they need. That's yeah. what I would do if I were you. Good job, boys. That was fun. That yeah. was fast. If you have anything about commercial real estate, I will connect you with these guys right now. 407 205 Zero four zero zero. Saxon Evans, Guillermo De Nichols from Realty Capital Advisors. One of you has to stick around. Sure, we'll we'll stick uh, Guillermo on that one. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, Saxon, good to see you, brother. As always, you. thank you. Uh, quick break. When we come back, your questions from throughout the week. It is time for the real estate roundtable. All right, we'll take.
Welcome back to the show. Now it's time for your portion of the program. It's the Real Estate Roundtable. We answer your questions from throughout the week. Here's what you do. Go to the Facebook page. You have real estate. Ask me a question right there. Ask me anything. And I might just answer it next week here on the TV show. Let's start with Jason in Melbourne. What do you think is going to happen with interest rates the rest of the year? Guillermo, what do you think, buddy? I think the interest rates are probably going to stay low. We have the market really active. Everything is really working out. The real estate, residential, and commercial, they're both doing well. So the Fed is trying to keep that down so the market keeps going high. Yeah, and I don't know. I'm not as confident. I, Dallas and you both think it's going to stay low. I feel like they're going to raise them. I hope I'm wrong. That's just how I feel. <laughs> Frank, I don't mean to disagree. I'm sorry. Oh, definitely. Uh, no problem. Frank and Lake Mary, what is the best way to see what my house is worth? Zillow's not always right. No, I right. think the best would be to call your favorite local realtor. Yeah. yeah. I, you can't really base off Zillow estimates anymore. I agree. What Brianka's not telling you is, look, call an agent <laughs> and have them come out and do what's called, say, I want. can you do a CMA, mm -hmm. a market analysis? They'll do it. And get, get a local realtor. If you're new to Smyrna, obviously call Brianka somewhere else. Find a local agent, and they'll be happy to tell you what your house is worth. Because, I mean, they're going to call on you and try to list it, of course, but that that's kind of comes with the territory. That's the only way to find out what your house is really worth. Okay. Uh, Chrissy, Marion County, I own a pet store. Should I rent or buy my location? What do you think, Guillermo? I think that's a fantastic question. I think the way to go on that question is to establish what an SBA loan is. It's a loan that allows you 10% down. That basically means that a million dollar building you can buy with $100,000 down. And given the interest rate is quite low right now, your payments are probably $5,000 or less. So yeah. it depends. Do you have those $100,000? Are you willing to be in a loan for 20, 25 years? You answer those questions. You will answer that question as well. Good job. Guillermo, great to meet you, man. I'm, I'm proud of what you guys are doing over there. I'm, I'm very impressed. Let's put it that way. You know, young guys in, in that market dealing with $20 million properties, it's, it's an impressive thing. So we're very happy for you. And if you have any questions about commercial stuff, Guillermo will help you out. The phone number's on the screen, 407 205 04 zero zero. Brianka, you know I'm impressed with you. You've got a great thing going on over there, great team over there. Anything to do with uh, the east coast of Florida, Daytona, Ormond, Brianca Carlo is your girl. I promise you that. Great job. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you Justin. very much for joining me today. And always, I hope you have a fantastic week. And if you want to get pre-approved to start that house hunt, Dallas is still standing by 407-205-0400. I'm attorney Justin Clark, and I'll see you next week for You Have Real Estate.